Hello, welcome back to Brand Station Life Noting. In this episode, we're gonna take a look at a new um, script notes feature. Um, actually, this is um, the one like a kind of like a surprise from Zevi, uh, one of special developer. He made this uh, 3D Voronoi uh, using his uh, script note like. This is really, really awesome and powerful, and it is also real time. I think it's actually really speedy, and it's really awesome to have this as a node. I, uh, it's always something I, I, I want inside Blender. Of course, there is a like a cell, um, cell fracture thing um, on the add-on right here. If you don't know already, cell fracture I already ha um, have it on. But this is like something that you can have inside um, Blender using Spreadshock add-on as a node. So let's take a look at an example. For example, like the, whenever you see an example as a zip in inside um, GitHub uh, Spreadshock, you can actually um, just um, simply right click on it and copy the link and you can tap, um, tap space bar and then just load the zip using um, Spreadshock. So load URL zip, and you will get the example right away here inside Blender. So I think that's pretty powerful. Um, it opens up the the zip and blend, and then everything's automatic. This is the example from Zevi. So the nodes that's responsible for the cool Voronoi 3D is this guy right here, script node, and the script node is basically looking at the the script. Um, wow, that's probably, that's the Voronoi script. How many lines is this? 55 lines. Wow. That's incredible. Uh, thanks to Zephy for this, another cool additions to Spherechalk add-on. Um, yeah, let's take a look how this goes. This is the example from Zephy. This is the viewer draw. Okay, this one is displaying the points. So apparently, um, you just need to have like a like a points, and then you have this uh, bounding box data. The bounding box can be any shapes, but the points need to be inside the bounding box in order for this to work. So this is the bounding box, and this is the final result, the Voronoi. And you can kind of shrink it. So that's actually real time. That's pretty fast. And let's say. Maybe reduce the number of points. Cool, that's really cool. Um, the cylinder, you can change the, the actual shapes of the objects, for example, and you can bake it. So this is the example from Zephy, but I will start from scratch. Okay, so if you download the latest add-on and update it, you can uh, go to script node light and simply load the Voronoi 3D from here. So this guy is actually a script node. It's not a node like a. It's not like a node in here. It's a script node. It's a fast way to create a node. So it's expecting uh, these uh, points, vertex in, and then uh, the objects. That's gonna be the bounding box. Okay, let's delete everything in the scene. I'll save this as SV Voronoi 3D test. So this is gonna be a quick one. SV Voronoi test. And I will use a box to start with. So this box should generate a box. And we gonna need a bunch of points. I'm gonna ju just use a random vector. This is gonna be the points. And I'll display the points for now. So this is make a bunch of points. Okay, that's pretty random. And then how many? Okay, make it 10 first. And then this is gonna be the bounding box based on this look, uh, box object, of course. So we need to scale it up and plug these points in there. And we should be getting our Voronoi mesh. Okay, let's have a look. Boom, and you get the Voronoi 3D right away. This is amazing. Like, this is super fast and I'll hide the bounding box. Randomize the seed so we can see the result right away. So let's make the string to one. So we, if it's one, you get 
this uh, typical Voronoi thing and you can bake it of course and then here you can see like a clean mesh clean Voronoi mesh and you can use smooth of course you know and you know you get that that's amazing uh, of course these box shapes can be anything it doesn't need to be a box it can also be a sphere or icosphere let's use icosphere plug this guy in there and you get this Voronoi based on this uh, icosphere let's uh, bake it and smooth it wow this is so cool uh, I always like this Voronoi create creation uh, you can end up with a really cool looking objects this way so Voronoi so random points that will work instantly let's go back to box thing so box mesh and we have the Voronoi I think it's still pretty fast if even if I go to 50 or 100 so that's really cool how about instead of using um, random points let's try using um, let's say let's use a line actually I know for the fact that if you use line and you plug it into Voronoi you tend to get a like a slicing this is like kind of like a magic like a magic trick uh, not uh, I learned this when using Houdini um, what's his name I forgot but he kind of mentioned it and then you can use Voronoi to do the slicing and then apparently yeah you can do that and you can just bake it out so it's very cool um, so that's oh his name is uh, Matt Matt Estella Houdini artist he showed me once uh, this little trick in Houdini so this guy can do that as well so this is really powerful uh, so yeah the shrink works really fast the bounding box um, number I don't use this uh, yet I don't use this much yet um, yeah you, with Voronoi of course you if you turn this into a rigid body dynamic this, it will work right away um, separate every object and then you know just run the simulations you can do that yeah, this guy um, see with blender I think if you kind of um, let's say you smooth it I know this trick and then you actually don't no need to smooth it you just go to edit mode and then you kind of remove double of this guy you go out and then you go to wireframe you get oh, okay you get this kind of a uh, design I think skin modifier might work as well yeah that's really amazing this if you look at it this is kind of an interesting looking furniture you can print this out and this looks pretty interesting and normally it's not that easy to get that shape you know so Voronoi is very powerful you can use any kind of shapes text object whatever it will work um, so yeah uh, so instead of using a line let's go back to our random points and give it a crazy value let's try 100 100 still pretty fast um, yeah I, I really I'm I'm really like uh, amazed by this potential um, so yeah later on at some stage I'll try a different kind of setup but this is just a quick look so give this a try um, this is really powerful um, addition to Spherechalk add-on um, and it's so easy to use just like um, in Houdini um, yeah but you have it there um, inside Blender um, open source 3D software re really powerful add-on like Sphere Chalk so yeah have fun with this um, let me know what you think and give me some ideas how we can use this Voronoi thing um, yeah thanks again Zephy for this Voronoi 3D it's really really cool um, I guess uh, I'll, I'll do an, more videos on Voronoi next time thanks again for watching I'll see you in the next video